What's going on guys? Welcome back to the guide. In this one we're going to jump into immersion as we pursue mod installation part 5. So let's create the separator first. I'm going to copy this. Tiny wrench and spanner. Create a separator and paste it. Okay, dynamic things alternative interact with previous static items like archery targets, crates, mammoth skulls, tap roots, and more. Very good. Files, mod manager download. Download it. Double click and away we go. Activate that. Hidden DB Sanctuary Interests. This mod hides the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary Interests. We've got a main file and an optional file for Majestic Mountains Patch. So let's install these. Let's install both of these. Boop and boop. And we're going to install these as separate mods. So let's start with the main file first. Hidden DB Sanctuary Entrances and uh, the, majestic, the Majestic Mountains Patch. So let's rename that to Hidden Entrances, Majestic Mountains Patch. Then activate them. Our TSL uh, loading screens, tweaks and add-ons. This mod tweaks and add-ons for the mod, the Elder Scrolls Legends loading screens. Okay, version 1.7. Okay, let's install it. Double click and we got a full mod. Okay. Next, next, aspect ratio, minus 16 by 9. Uh, I suspect yours is as well. Next, next. Okay, let's open this up. All right, so for tweaks, we just want tweaks. Add ons, we're going with main, apocalypse, imperious, sacrosanct. Everything is chosen for us. Just click install. All right, cool. Let's activate that. Pumping Iron Dynamic Muscle Growth by Gopher. I started a character for my latest Let's Play Skyrim video series and delivery made him very... Okay, I'm not going to read all that. <laughs> as, as you grow in strength, as your skills go up, the more buff your character appears. The bigger his uh, he dynamically increases in size, he or she. Okay, so let's install it. It's really cool. Mod Magic Download. And let's install it. Okay. And we're going to extract this BSA, so yes. Right, activate that. Yacht, your own thoughts. This mod basically changes most, if not all, of the second person uh, messages and text in game and makes them first person. All right. More for immersion, yet, yet again. Hence the immersion uh, section, right? All right, let's install it. Double click. There's a full mod. Open up the full mod. Alternative game mechanics. Vanilla? No. Next. Next, next again, and now we got some gameplay mods. So basically, a bunch of patches. So, gonna start with Frostfall. That's already chosen for us. So go down, skip. Uh, I need skip Hunterborn. Skip uh, Wearable Lanterns. Moonlight Tales. We do want that. Skip Reflection. Uh, lock Overhaul. Yes. Skip Way Shrines and Wet and Cold. Eloquent Reader. Yep. For convenient horses, we want 7.01 for Andromeda, already chosen for us. So click next here, scroll all the way down here, and where are we at? Classic level up. We don't want anything else in this on this page. So click next, next. And now for here, what do we got? Uh, we don't want anything down to provincial mail, um, mail carrier service. Yeah, we don't want anything on this page. Next, next. Woo, bunch of quest mods. So no beyond Skyrim. So we want Falscar, Worm's Tooth, Helgen Reborn, Skip Beyond, uh, Cutting Room Floor, yep. Skip Immersive College of Winterhold. We want Obscure's College of Winterhold. We want the Great Call of Nocturnal. We want Legacy of Dragonborn. No Vigilant. No Project Aho. Let's go next. And we do want interesting NPCs. Everything is chosen for us already. Next. Next. I have a feeling everything that we want is going to be chosen for us all the way down the line, but we better double check because sometimes we're going to have to uncheck stuff. Ordinator, yep. Apocalypse uh, Magic of Skyrim plus Ordinator Patch, yep. Summer Mist, yep. Imperius, yes. Wildcat, yes. Smilodon, nope. Sacrosanct, yes. Andromeda, yes. Uh, Thunderchild, yep. Winter Sun, nope. Morning Star, nope. Click next over here. Uh, no on everything else. No one, everything else. Next. Next. Okay, so looking here, not selecting anything. Double check. Yep, nothing all the way down the line. Next. 
next. Immersive Sounds Compendium, yep, and nothing on both uh, on the next two. Next, next, and install. Yep, we didn't have to change anything. Everything was selected for us. Very good. Uh, yacht, your own thoughts consistency patch. So it's going to be in a miscellaneous section. So let's find it. Files. Go down. Get a miscellaneous section. And yacht, your own thoughts consistency patch is the very last one. So let's download that. And then install it. Okay. Oh, I forgot to rename it. My bad. Let's do it again. Double click. Drop down. And we want your own thoughts. Uh, consistency patch. Okay. Activate this. All right. We're going to move on into the NB particle lights. So let's create that separator. Copy. Tiny wrench and spinner. Create separator. Paste it. Okay. EMB particle lights, Dwemer lanterns, adds EMB complex particle lights to all Dwemer lanterns and chandeliers. Gosh, this has got to be one of the best EMB breakthroughs ever. Surpassing the, the light count or uh, light bulb count per scene. Yeah, amazing stuff. Okay. Too bad that it doesn't work in VR yet. High poly gleam blooms. High poly gleam blooms. Model replacer with EMB light support. Very, very nice. Uh, we want the ENB light version, so the first option. Good. Now let's double click to install that. Alrighty. Rudy HQ, more lights for ENB, Death Blooms, and Nern Root. So let's download that. Files. And we want the main file here. Very, very good. Install it. Alright. Activate. Rudy HQ, more lights for ENB SE, Torch Bugs, and Moths. Glowy bugs. So go with the main file here. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Now we're going to go with Rudy HQ. More lights for EMB. Daedric Weapons and AMA. And we're going to delete some stuff after we install it. So let's go ahead and download that. Files. Mod Manager Download. All right. So let's double click to install it. Take a look at this full mod. For here, we want Lean Wolf's Better Shaped Weapons. Next. Next. We're going to stick with sheaths. Next. Next. Optional armor Optional armor tweaks. We want both of those. Click next. Next again. Armor glow. We're going to go with subtle glow. Next. Next. Shield glow. We're going to go with strong glow. Neat. Neat. Patches. We only want heavy armory. And then install. All right. After having done that, we're going to delete some, some meshes. So let's right click. Open and explore. We're going to go into meshes, armor, Daedric, and we're looking for a helmet 01 and helmet F01. Uh, 0 and 1. Okay. So let's find those helmets. Here they are right here. So helmet 0, helmet 1, helmet F0, helmet F1. So those four meshes right there. Delete them. Good. Now let's activate that. Then finally, more lights for EMB Blood Splatter Fix. Fixes, bu uh, fixes the bug with H Rudy HQ, more lights for EMB, where mods uh, mods where floating blood splatters apply incorrectly on the light glow. Okay, good. Bug fixes are always good. All right, download this. Let's see what they're talking about. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We definitely want that. So double click. And we got a full mod, so let's take a look. Installation options, we want... We don't want soul gems, so deselect soul gems, and we want patch for rustic soul gems. Okay, make sure yours looks like this. And then install. All right. All right, guys, let's clean this up. Delete install downloads. Let's collapse these. I'm going to end the video there, because I think compatibility patches is pretty extensive, and I don't want to make that overly long. So thank you for joining me, guys. I appreciate your support, and I hope you're finding value out of this uh, video series. And I'll catch you in the next one.